In this video tutorial, I'll be using Gray's Magic Image Computing. It's it's a filter add-on filter for um, GIMP. Now, it, GIMP doesn't come with this filter, but it's available for Windows, Apple, and Linux. If loading into Linux, I strongly recommend you go to the Software Center for your version of Linux. Now, I'll open up GIMP, and I'll make this montage from the filters within uh, Grace. I go to File and I need to load them as layers. Now I have them on the desktop which makes it nice and easy. I click the first one, hold the shift key down and move down to the last one. Now there's five I'm going to load into the to the images. So I'll go and load them into the layers. Now I go to filters. Now the GMIC is right down the bottom. You click on that one. Now the filter I'm going to use is in the very top one. But need I need to put the layout first. I go to layers, or input layers, and I show all. Now I go to the array and tiles, and I come down and click on montage. It says automatic. Now I'll choose custom layout and it moves it around now if I may if I wanted the uh, the boats to be in the number two position I need to move it into number three because computers use zero as a, as a counter so I've got one two and three so I need to move the boats which is the very last one up to three so I'm I click on the, the image or the boats and I move it up to the third layer. Of course that's the one, two, three. Now I come here and click on update. Now you can see now the boats are in that particular position. I need to put a padding between the images. Now it's in pixels and these images are a little bit larger, four megabytes each. So I click on this and move it up to 30 for the padding. Now it might appear to be quite a bit on this little screen display here but it's really uh, only pixels we're dealing with. You can see there it looks very bad. Now I go to the frame and put a frame around it. I need to move it up to 20 because once again I'm working with pixels. Now once again it looks pretty terrible. Now I click on apply now I click OK and there's my work page now. I click on the little button there to bring it up to full size. Now you can see that those pixels of the frame and the padding is quite acceptable but on the display screen it looked quite bad. Now I move next back to filters. I open up GMIC once again, the filter pack and I come down here to light and shadow. You've got to click the little arrow there to open it up. Now come down here and I put in a drop shadow three dimensional. I'll leave it at default and click OK. Now I put in a, a new layer. OK. Now I move that layer below my shadows. Now I just drag the white into the, into the uh, layer and let it go and that's given me the little nice little bit of drop shadow. I right click the top layer and flatten image and that's the job completed. You just go and export your image or your montage as a particular file. You just type it in there what you need and it's going to be a JPEG and the job's done. So there's a a hard copy of this procedure on the website listed below and also the website for this GMIC uh, Gray's Magic Image Computing website to be able to download the filters.